let me sit down here. Okay, this is going to be a quick video, so listen carefully. In part one, I've talked about performance demons. In part two, I ex ex I've extended it a little bit to, ex to encourage you to use your common sense. Okay, see the in part three. Was a very short part. I've talked a little bit about the deception, or I'm saying the stronghold of free will, and I want to continue upon that here in part four. The mental construction or stronghold of free will is what makes it easy, very easy for demons to possess or to attach themselves to people. Let me explain why. Because listen, as I mentioned before, the human will is bound by uh, external uh, resources, you see? You cannot choose something you're not aware of. And so, because you cannot choose something you're not aware of, and because you have human needs, you have emotional and psychological needs, or I could say soulish needs, because you have soulish needs, your human will is designed to look after those needs, okay? For example, you have physical needs also, you need to eat and drink, and you need to have clothes also, especially in living colder areas, like here in the Netherlands. So, your human will is designed to look after those physical needs. Your human will is also designed and programmed by nature, not by nature, but na naturally, your human will is designed and built also to go after your soulish needs, your intellectual, emotional and psychological needs, okay? And you also have the spiritual needs and that's being at peace with the Most High, okay? So your human will is not free, okay? It's bound by external conditions, it's bound by external conditions and it needs external resources. Now demons are very well aware of this, they are very well aware how human beings are designed by the Most High. So listen, when you accept the idea, because it's an idea, or better, it's an imagination, it's not true because there's no evidence for it. In contrary, there's a lot of evidence against it. But when you buy into the myth that you are capable of choosing independently of all external circumstances, you're deluded. And there's another thing. Free will especially focuses upon you being able to do good apart from the Lord Jesus Christ, apart from God. It focuses upon you. Hold on. Already. I was distracted, I'm sorry. It was quite, it was very quiet here, but okay, just wait a little bit. Away. Not possibly, I mean, I mean, to live possibly. Yeah. Okay, look. The moment, I'm gonna say, free will is all about you thinking you can become something apart from the most high. That's all free will is all about. So the main minute you accept that, that, demons have a free space to come in and out of your life. Why? Your human will is bound by external conditions and by external resources. So when you do not place your trust in the Most High as you should, then it means that you are placing your trust in external resources and, in, and, in, and you are going to look for the perfect external conditions to make things work on your terms, you see. And when you are doing that, you see, because you're so, you are so preoccupied with self, when demons begin to manifest, you will not be aware of it. Why? Because you will be thinking that it's you or the other people choosing out of themselves. While it's really demons guiding, your, uh, guiding and ruling your actions. Let me say, let's say you have a child, okay? You have a child and he, let me say, is a she, okay? Let's say you have a little daughter and she is physically abused by her mother during her childhood. See, that's a trauma that's being forced upon the child, and that trauma will develop into a stronghold because the child needs to find a way to cope with the with danger. 
and the child doesn't have resources to cope with the danger, so the child will, will internalize what happened. So a stronghold is being built into the mind of the, of the young girl. By the time the young girl is a woman, you see, that stronghold also developed a personality into her. So that the stronghold has become a personality. And behind that personality, there's a demon spirit that's operating through her. So, a question. If you have, if that girl or that, was phys, that was physically abused by a mother, if she grows up to become, and she has become a butch, for example, you know what a butch is. Those are those women, those lesbians who are very male-like. Question. Is it her choice that she became a butch? No. She was traumatized, a stronghold was enforced upon her, and a stronghold without her knowing developed into a personality. And a demon spirit, an unclean entity, became attached to that personality. Okay, so, but is she responsible for giving in to the butch behavior? Yes, she's responsible for that. But that she became a butch is not her responsibility. Her responsibility is, is to recognize that something is wrong, that something isn't right, she, it's her responsibility to repent, and to repent means she needs to go for safety so that she, so that she will be delivered, okay? The same with uh, men who are infeminate or very woman-like, you see? Most of those men, they became that way due to traumas in their childhood, or they became that way due to traumas inflicted upon them in their adult, because also traumas in your adult life can affect you. Or maybe they grew up in an environment where there weren't many male role, male leaders. If you have a lack of male leaders, men can grow up become effeminate. Okay, if a man is effeminate, is he responsible for becoming effeminate? Should you accuse him of it? No. However, he is responsible to repent and to go for safety because behind that effeminate personality, there is a sodomite demon that's working through that individual and that sodomite demon will use that effeminate man to, uh, to attack others and harass others. So yes, humans are responsible, but they're not responsible in a manner we think they are responsible, you see? That's why the stronghold of free will is very dangerous because it based, what, what the lie of free will basically is doing is it's giving demons a free license to do whatever they want to other people and this needs to stop okay well that's it for now guys it's white again race sword i'm moving ahead now and um, if you have questions just ask them um, i'll answer as soon as possible and remember those who are born again, you have the Holy Spirit, so also do your own research and test the spirits and test what I've told in all my, in, in this video. Shalom.